Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on how blood circulates through the heart. If you guys are interested, let's get into the nitty gritty. Okay, so I'm going to start by drawing a heart. It's not going to be the exact um, replica of a heart. I'm literally just going to draw a heart. Okay, we all know anatomically that is not what the heart looks like, but I'm just doing like a stick version of it to help you get through the process. So as we know, the, eight, uh, the heart is broken up into four chambers. Okay, so you have the atriums and the ventricles. This is gonna be the right atrium, the right ventricle, the left atrium, left ventricle. Okay, so how does the blood flow through the heart? Let me draw a new page. So I'm gonna draw the heart again, maybe a little bigger this time. All right, now I'm gonna break it down into four chambers again. All right, so blood first has to get into the heart. And that's going to come from the systemic circulation. So that's going to come in through the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava. And that's all going to be leading into the right atrium. Okay, so blood is going to enter from the systemic circulation into the right atrium. Then it's going to pass through to the right ventricle. Remember, this is now deoxygenated blood because this is coming from... The system it's already taken up all the oxygen that it could and now it needs to get reoxygenated okay it's gonna pass through one valve here I'm gonna put three lines so you know that this is the tricuspid valve okay tricuspid valve all right and then it's gonna go into the right ventricle okay I'm working right now on the right side so it's coming from the system through the superior and inferior vena cava, I'm gonna change this to the color blue so you know that it's deoxygenated. Okay, coming in to the right atrium. Then it's gonna pass through this tricuspid valve to the right ventricle, and from there, it's gonna go into the pulmonary circulation. Okay, so this is where it passes through to the pulmonary circulation. Okay, so this is the pulmonic valve right here. All right, and then you're gonna go, these are arteries. So remember, when we're talking about um, arteries and veins, um, veins have deoxygenated blood because it's um, coming back, going back to the heart. And arteries have oxygenated blood, but when we're talking about the pulmonic circulation, the pulmonary um, circuit, we're gonna have it the opposite, okay? Because now you're taking blood to the lungs that are deoxygenated. So this is pulmonary, okay? Pulmonary, you have arteries. Ah, arteries are deoxygenated and the veins are oxygenated. We'll get into detail on that in a second. Don't worry about the colors for now. Okay, so here this blood is still deoxygenated. It's still deoxygenated and it's going through to the pulmonary artery. So you're going to one side is going to the left lung and the other side is going to the right lung. Okay, so you're having this blood go to the lungs where it's going to get oxygenated. Okay, makes sense? Now, let's go on to the left side. Let's do a new page, this is a hot mess. Okay, I'm gonna draw the heart again. With the four chambers. Okay, so now that we've seen how the blood is going through the right side, now um, the blood is in the pulmonary circulation. It's getting oxygenated by the lungs. Now through the pulmonary veins, Okay, they're gonna come in through to the left atrium. Okay, these are pulmonary veins and the 
they're bringing oxygenated blood into the left atrium, okay? So, right here, left atrium. Then from here, it's gonna pass through the mitral valve to the left ventricle, okay? Or bicuspid valve. Ah, it's not mitral, it's mitral. Okay, mitral valve. Um, now, from here, the left ventricle is going to pump the blood to the rest of the body. So it's going to go through another valve right here. And this is known as the aortic valve. Aortic valve. To the aorta. So you have the, you know, this, the big, the great vessels, right? And you have like, you know, the vessels that branch off. And down here you have the um, descending aorta. Okay, and this is oxygenated blood that is circulating to the body, to the system now, okay? That way it can um, oxygenate all the tissues and then it goes right back into the superior and inferior vena cava. All right, I'm gonna draw these structures again for you so you can see it um, because now since this one is just basic, you know, the four um, chambers of the heart, this is the right side and this is the left side. It's kind of confusing, but I'm gonna draw it all together so you understand like if it was happening, it's not real time, obviously real time, it's much, much faster, but that way you can understand the process in a more um, cohesive way. All right. Four chambers.
So now everything is kind of drawn out, the structures. Again, it looks very confusing, but I'm gonna work through it and then we're gonna get through this, okay? So I'm gonna put the blood and purple coming in so that it's not confusing. All right, so the blood is coming into the right atrium. It's gonna pass through the tricuspid valve into the left ventricle. So, I mean, right atrium into the right ventricle. Then it's gonna pass through the pulmonary valve into the pulmonary arteries. So this is the pulmonary artery. All right, and then you have the, the branches that, that flow through. So they're gonna come through here and they're gonna go to the lungs, okay? The lungs. All right, that's the lungs. Then from the lungs, it's gonna get oxygenated and follow into the pulmonary veins, into the left atrium. Then from the left atrium, the blood is oxygenated, it's gonna pass through the mitral valve into the left ventricle. From there, it's gonna go into the aortic, um, the aortic valve into the aorta, okay? From here, there's little arteries that come off of um, the aorta. These are the coronary arteries. The coronary arteries are important. They oxygenate the heart itself on the outside, okay? That way the muscle doesn't die, all right? Um, so that's, that's pretty much it. It looks like a whole hot mess here, but I want to clarify about the arteries and veins in the systemic circulation. Arteries take oxygenated blood to the system. All right. And then veins bring the deoxygenated blood back to the heart. And these have valves, okay? These have valves. That way it doesn't backflow, because obviously, look, if you think about it, there's veins all the way down to your feet and your toes, and they have to pump all the way back up to your heart. You know, they're not using gravity to uh, pump the blood down it's pu it's pumping blood back up so you have to have valves so it will it will stop you know the blood from back flowing down so then these valves in the in the veins prevent backflow of blood now in the pulmonic or the pulmonary uh, circulation arteries are deoxygenated. They're bringing the blood from the right ventricle into the pulmonary artery that is going to oxygenate the blood. They're going to the lungs, okay? And then the pulmonary veins are oxygenated. They're bringing the blood back into the left atrium and they're gonna be pumped through to the rest of the body, okay? Let's do a quiz. Name the valve between the right atrium and the right ventricle. I think it's period, but whatever. Second question, name the valve between the left atrium and the left ventricle. Number three,
pulmonary arteries carry oxygenated blood true or false four Pulmonary veins bring blood from the lungs into which chamber of the heart? Okay, so number one. We went over this as far as the 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 what separates the atriums from the ventricles. Right here on this side, we have the tricuspid valve. So the quiz asks, what's the valve between the right atrium and the right ventricle? And it's right here, although it's kind of hard to see, but it's the tricuspid valve. And then Number two is kind of similar, but it's on the other side of the heart. And right here, we said it was the mitral valve. Okay. Pulmonary, pulmonary arteries carry oxygenated blood. True or false? Okay. So what I covered here was the pulmonary circulation. So the pulmonary veins are here the pulmonary artery is here so this blood coming from the inferior vena cava going this way is still not oxygenated and remember we said that in the pulmonary circulation arteries carry deoxygenated blood so it's asking pulmonary arteries carry oxygenated blood that is false okay then number four pulmonary veins bring blood from the lungs into which chamber of the heart? So remember the blood is coming from the lungs. This, these are lungs. Into the left atrium, okay? Left atrium. So there's better pictures in your book, but they're kind of hard to see. They're kind of like, all it is is a bunch of arrows and a bunch of different colors, and it's hard to understand. But just remember that there's four chambers separated by valves. This side is deoxygenated. This side is oxygenated. This side is bringing blood back into the heart, and this side is taking blood out into the system. Okay, that's a simplified version of it. Um, but you can go back and refer back to whatever I covered. All right, I'm gonna go back to the video now. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. I know it was a little confusing. Comment down below if you want me to explain in detail what's going on. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.